Well, how about in Power Director 18? We learn how to spin our head round and round and round. And then we'll see what happens in our lives. <laughs> Well, in Power Director 18, we're going to teach you how to spin your head around in this effect, and I'm even going to show you how to edit it in Power Director 18. Now, when you take these shots, you literally need three different shots, and you have to imagine your head going around in a circle. So you're literally going to start off with your head here, you're going to bring it around and stop, and that's going to be one shot. Your next shot is going to be your head starting where it is right now, all the way to here and stopping. And now you've got two shots of that in the front. Now what you're going to do is take the garments you're wearing, put them on backwards, and then you're going to shoot from the back. Now doing it with a mask was actually a lot harder because you have to arch your back when you turn your head with the mask on to make sure you don't get your mask shooting too high in the air. Now, when your back is turned, because we're doing this thing, we want to start at this side and go this way. Now, if you make the mistake and you start at this side and go this way, it's not going to match up to do your head spinning around off your body. Now, you could do multiple shots to make sure. I mean, literally, I could go from here to here, from here all the way across, from here to here, from here all the way across. I mean, just do every combination there is. So that way, when you actually get down to editing, it's not going to matter because you're going to have the right way you did it. Now, a lot of people will sit in a chair and they'll try to keep their shoulders and everything the same. And this way, it creates more of the effect. The way I've done it with a mask and I'm actually standing outside in pitch blackness with two lights. It's actually a whole lot harder. And it really does take some practice. Now I'm hoping I've done it right and I can show off this effect to you guys and show you how I did it in Power Director 18. So let's head, head on back to the uh, Power Director 18 editor and I'll teach you guys how to make a head spin round and round. Let's go. Okay, in Power Director 18, I'm going to show you how I edit this when I made the head spin. Now, I originally made a mistake, and um, I had to go up and take the shot again. And I turned my lights off, so then I had to turn my lights back on. And I didn't have the perfect light setting. When I made the first two, the light was perfect. When I had to go up and take another shot, it wasn't. So then I threw a LUT on it, and I covered it up a little bit. So make sure when you do this, your lighting's all the same and it doesn't change. Now, the first one I had was this one here, and I'll even crank this up so you can hear me a little bit. Well, how about in Power Director 18? Okay, that's the one where I talked in the beginning. Is it this one? And I took many different shots. Yeah, okay. So I originally started with um, turning my head. And you'll see here. Stop. So I got my head turned, you see. Stop. And uh, I did it a, a couple different ways, like I did it this way too. And I, and I did that just to make sure. Now this one, I actually need at the end here. Now I need my middle one. And this is where my lighting was off. My lighting one was this one here, I believe. Stop. Try it again. Stop. Yeah, that's the one there. And you see how the Stop. lighting's different? Stop. So what I've done here is right off the bat at the beginning, I want to get it where the head starts to move. So I'm going to move it frame by frame until I see his head move there, right there. And then I'm going to cut that part. And I'm going to click here and I'm going to hit delete. And I'm going to say remove fill gap so it pulls everything back. See how I did that? Now again, I'm going to get the first right there. It ends. I don't want to go any further. I want to cut that. And then I want to remove this part. 
hit delete, remove and fill gap. Just like that. Now what I did in this scene is I put my outfit on backwards. Right here, see that's my back. But I put my outfit on backwards. Now it would have made the effect probably better if I would have had a t-shirt with some writing on it. Maybe that would have been a little bit better. Now I turn my head and probably go a little more right there. And I'll clip that section out. Remove and fill gap. Now this is where we finish it, right? So again, I want to move forward until I just start to turn and I'm already moving so that's good and I'll take out that little piece and remove and fill gap and then we'll see how far we can get with that right there and then I'll cut that out so now if I go back we've got the whole scene and you see there was a pause on that one so we want to make sure there's no pause so obviously over here we got an issue in the middle one. So I'll move this forward until I see something moving. And right there. So now I'll cut this section out. I'm just trying to get it where everything's moving and fluid, right? So here we go. Boom, boom, and boom. Now you see the middle one, my lighting is different than my two end ones. And that's where I kind of messed up. So now what you could do is you could produce this and then you'd have one frame basically. So I added a LUT to it and let me show you where I did that in Color Director. So when I was in Color Director you can add your own LUTs and I just got into Architect and I went into Vintage Cephi or however you say it and that was the one there I chose. And then I went back. So as you can see, I added the LUT and trying to even out my colors because of the light being off. So let's play that. And you'll see I'm going around. And then it looks like I'm doing the dozy do basically. But again, I could speed these up too. Like I could go into my tools and I can go into my video speed and then up the speed on each one of these to give it more of an effect is what I can do and I recorded this in 1080p 60 frames a second and this can be done on your cell phones your cameras your GoPro it really doesn't matter you just have to make sure that you take each segment and your lighting is dead on and you should be good now this effect would look a lot better for a person that's got a longer neck and that's important too I don't have much of a neck but I mean a person that has a longer neck it will have more of an effect and uh, this is how you actually get your head turning, and that's kind of slow motion. And then you could actually copy this and boom, 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 and do two or three, and you're off and running. So there's how you do a turning head in PowerDirector 18. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try it. If you do, I would like to see it. I'd like to see if you've done a better job. Or is there anything else you would have changed? Maybe you'd add a transition somewhere. Maybe it'd level out. Let me know. Here's the basics on how to turn your head in a circle in PowerDirector 18. Catch you guys on the next one. Well, how about in PowerDirector 18? We learn how to spin our head round and round and round. And then we'll see what happens in our lives. <laughs>